Hi, I'm David Ward. For over 15 years, I've worked as a chiropractor with a specific focus on functional health, autoimmune disorders, and cognitive health. I'm a certified Recode 2.0 practitioner of the Bredesen Protocol, a program proven to stop cognitive decline and enhance brain function. I was one of the first clinicians to get trained in this methodology in 2017. In addition, I've completed over 300 hours of postdoctoral education in nutrition and functional health care through Southern California University of Health Sciences. This has provided me with the tools to help many individuals overcome their complex chronic illnesses, identifying the contributing factors, and providing personalized lifestyle solutions to reclaim their health. Many adults tell me they're struggling with chronic fatigue, poor sleep, persistent pain, brain fog, and anxiety, constantly battling symptoms and declining health. Even though their doctor says their lab tests are normal, they don't feel normal. They're concerned because they know that something isn't right and frankly, not sure what to do next, but they know they have to do something now. If that's you, you're in the right place. One of the most frequent root causes is chronic inflammation. You see, chronic inflammation frequently damages organ systems, compromises immune function, and accelerates chronic diseases and aging. So what happens if you don't get your inflammation under control? Well, your body switches into continuous survival mode called the cell danger response, which is triggered in the presence of environmental stressors and results in incomplete healing. Sickness behaviors, such as sadness, fatigue, altered sleep, decreased appetite and food intake, as well as social withdrawal are triggered. Cognitive function, energy, metabolism, and mitochondrial health are all impaired. Inflammation has your body and brain on fire, triggering migraines, depression, brain fog, and chronic pain. Can you see how chronic inflammation is literally wrecking everything, preventing you from enjoying a well-balanced, productive life, looking and feeling your best? We see these issues all the time in our clinic. The solution to inflammation is much greater than treating individual symptoms. The real issue is the lack of a clear point A to point B system that's easy to follow. A clear roadmap that's been proven to help you effectively eliminate systemic chronic inflammation and restore optimal immune function. A roadmap to return you to a well-balanced, productive life so you can feel and perform your best. This is where our inflammation eliminator framework comes in. Let me walk you through it. At Intavita, we see chronic systemic inflammation as a consequence of lifestyle and environmental factors. For example, chronic stress and sleep disruption, lack of optimal movement and exercise, including too much and too little, and exposure to toxins and infections are some of the drivers of inflammation. All of these are modifiable and within your control. The bottom line is this. We need to promote a healthy inflammatory response in order to successfully address chronic illnesses so that you can enjoy a well-balanced, active life for years to come. So when it comes to infections and dysbiosis, shown in the orange area in the top right, infections can trigger an individual to express a chronic inflammatory response. And in many cases, it's not about a single infection, but rather the burden of infections throughout one's lifetime that's responsible for chronic systemic inflammation. And while it's not an infectious trigger, Dysbiosis, or an imbalanced microbiome, is characterized by a decrease in microbial diversity and an increase in pro-inflammatory bacteria, and is a potent contributor 
to chronic inflammation. So we need to ensure that there's a balance among the numerous bacteria that make up the body's microbiomes in the mouth, sinuses, gastrointestinal tract, respiratory tract, and genitourinary tract. Next, persistent viruses and reactivation of chronic viral infections can lead to chronic inflammation. Herpes viruses, including Epstein-Barr virus and cytomegalovirus, establish dormant infections following an initial infectious event and reactivate when the immune system is compromised, for example, due to stress, driving chronic inflammation. Also, parasitic infections can cause immune reactivity, leading to an ongoing inflammatory response. Three types of parasites can cause disease in humans. They are protozoa, which are carried by mosquitoes or transmitted by ingesting contaminated food or water, helminths, which is a general term for parasitic worms, and ectoparasites, such as ticks. Parasitic infections often cause intestinal illness and can result in alterations in the microbiome in many cases as a result of an already compromised gut function. So identifying and resolving dysbiosis and infectious triggers is a key component of reducing chronic inflammation. Next, shown in the blue area on the bottom, we help individuals to improve the function of their immune system. Imbalanced immune cells can create an excessive and sustained inflammatory process that results in tissue damage. Reactive immune cells then attack your body, resulting in your symptoms. The attack on your body creates the perception of threat to your cells, again known as the cell danger response, perpetuating the vicious cycle of tissue damage and inflammation. In addition, immunosenescence, the progressive decline in immune function with increasing age, is associated with chronic low-grade inflammation. However, immunosenescence is not only caused by age-associated alterations. The chronic activation of the immune system due to infections and inflammatory disorders also influences the exhaustion of the immune system. Now, lifestyle factors that promote sustained inflammation include sleep, stress, movement and exercise, relationships, as well as diet and nutrition. And next, disruption or loss of integrity in the gut, lung, blood, brain, and oral mucosal barriers also contribute to the excessive inflammatory process. All of these triggers need to be identified and resolved in order to support healthy immune function. Finally, we look at the green area in the top left that focuses on reducing chronic inflammation mediated by toxins. We need to minimize toxic exposure and reduce your body's burden from prior exposures to inorganics, organics, and biotoxins. This includes the safe removal of heavy metals. Think arsenic, lead, mercury, and cadmium. Regarding organic toxins, we educate individuals about solutions to avoid persistent pollutants, such as pesticides, plastics, flame retardants, industrial chemicals, and VOCs, short for volatile organic compounds. And finally, Mold and tick-borne illnesses, including Lyme disease, are other frequent contributors to chronic inflammation that will keep your body irritated, inflamed, and imbalanced. In my personal experience, conventional medicine typically doesn't recognize these triggers, ignoring some of the most powerful levers to help normalize the inflammatory response and support the healing process. Another distinction between functional and conventional approaches is that we teach individual strategies for proper nutrition, movement and exercise, mindful breathing, 
optimizing sleep and stress management so their body and brain can function optimally. From a practical perspective, we focus on a four-step approach. Identifying the root cause, removing the triggers, repairing the damage, and replenishing the body. In functional healthcare, we always start with advanced diagnostics to not only measure current function, but also to identify the specific root causes driving inflammation. This allows us to create a targeted approach for resolving the sources of incomplete healing that drive the sustained inflammatory response. Next, we remove the inflammatory triggers as much as possible because when your body isn't functioning optimally, a critical step is reducing exposure to the contributors in the first place. But again, that's not common practice in most medical offices. And finally, we seek to promote tissue repair to help your body recover and support optimal resilience going forward. Again, not common practice, as the conventional medical approach does not have effective or meaningful strategies to reverse complex chronic disorders. That's why at Entavita, we employ an integrated, comprehensive approach addressing environmental triggers and immune imbalance while supporting resolution of inflammation.